In English, some consonants are voiced like v, and some are voiceless like f. So what does it mean to be voiced or voiceless? Listen to this. Now you can't see the difference. You might be able to hear the difference, but you can definitely feel the difference. Watch this. When I make a voiced sound like th, my throat vibrates. But when I make a voiceless sound like th, it's just air coming through my mouth. Now you can also hear if you put your hands over your ears like this. When I make the voiced sound th, it vibrates in my ears and my throat. Now why is it so important? Because in English, sometimes the only difference between a pair of words is when one consonant is voiced and the other consonant is voiceless. For example, van and fan. Now you can practice this some more by watching the videos about voiced and voiceless consonants in the Sounds of English section. In English, some consonants are voiced like v and some are voiceless like f. So what does it mean to be voiced or voiceless? Listen to this. Now you can't see the difference. You might be able to hear the difference, but you can definitely feel the difference. Watch this. When I make a voiced sound like th, my throat vibrates. But when I make a voiceless sound, like it's just air coming through my mouth. Now you can also hear if you put your hands over your ears like this. When I make the voiced sound it vibrates in my ears and my throat. Now why is it so important? Because in English Sometimes the only difference between a pair of words is when one consonant is voiced and the other consonant is voiceless. For example, van and fan. Now you can practice this some more by watching the videos about voiced and voiceless consonants in the Sounds of English section.